We're live. Hey, we're here. So, um, welcome. Welcome, welcome. All our stitching viewers on Always in Stitches YouTube. What's new video? It's Thursday morning and we're so excited. Say hey, Deborah. Hey. This is Deborah. If you place an online order or you call in and say, I need help with some picking out something, this is who you talk to. Deborah, that's her desk and she keeps rearranging it. <laughs> Cause she stopped. You stop. She stopped. Okay. Cause she likes. She thinks she wants the phone here, and then she thinks she wants the phone there. But we're gonna keep her here. So this is the spot. I'm gonna stay. But anyway, we're back here because this fabric line just came in, and Deborah is also the little queen guru lady of making kits. So I suppose you're cutting up something to make kits out of this of some kind. Yeah. So six kits. Six kits. Is it this pattern here? Yes. Okay. So here you go. This um, Nature's Watercolor Fluttering Leaves Charm Quilt. So I presume it uses some charms. Um, and it uses little tiny squares. And little tiny squares. Yeah, that doesn't look ootsy big. It is a little small. Um, Lynn Hagemeyer has designed this. She is the designer with Kansas Troubles. She is Kansas Troubles. Um, and this is the quilt. It finishes 28 inches square. Ooh, those are teeny tiny pieces. Wowzer. But what a fun project to make. Um, so it, you get charm packs, you'll get the fabric. She's putting kits together. It's still in the back of the shop, but it'll be out front um, before too awful long. But these fabrics are really yummy. I, it's perfect for fall, don't you think, Peter? I have to tell you, Peter, he did, we're not gonna show Kathy's outfit today because Kathy's outfit she thinks is not photo worthy. But Peter, I might have to flip the camera around and let him see your like sweater and he's got a shirt. He's trying to stay warm. Is that the issue? It was cool this morning it when was. I left the house. It was. So he's got. Is that, so I got to wear my sweater. Is that one you've knitted? No. No, it's very pretty though. Uh, it could be a, a, a knitted sweater. He wears lovely sweaters. So he's got. It's cold. It's cold. I haven't been cold since. Not. 19. It's not cold. It's just cool. It is cool, and I have not been cold since 1994, so I don't wear sweaters very often. But I'm sorting these fabrics. These are lovely. Um, when you see lots of, like, these fabrics are typically, they lend towards the primitive-ish. Is that a word? I think I just made it a word. Um, primitive-ish style. They're great earthy tones. She does a beautiful job of giving those nice, oh, that's a great background. Um, nice backgrounds. And I love her fabric. She's also a really nice lady. I had the opportunity to, to be at a retreat with her one time. And she's Did you just, rub elbows with her? I did, and she was very delightful, very pleasant. You know, the, the hard part is, I, I suppose if somebody was awful, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> They were awful. But, you know, most of the fabric people are, it's quilters and fabric people and stitchers are all really nice people. I would say anybody that sits and draws with crayons, I mean, you know, designing yeah. fabric, they gotta be in a good they're mood, create, right? They're happy people. I have coloring <laughs> books, I have coloring books and crayons, and when I feel a little stressed, I sometimes go color, because it makes me feel better. So anyway, these are in the back right now. Um, probably by the time the video displays, you're gonna be able to see the actual fabric. Um, live because it won't just be in the back being kitted. Now as you can see there are pieces in the kit in the charm pack that we don't have on the bolt. We don't always buy absolutely everything that's available in a line especially when the fabric has 48 bolts of fabric because that's a chunk of change to invest in and we want to try and offer you more variety rather than just a few pieces. So. Um, the charm pack has every single piece. That's why you're going to want it when you make these kits. So there'll be kits available. Some beautiful pieces yeah, in this charm pack. They are. It's really pretty. Her, her fabric's always lovely. It's just a pretty, pretty line. So anyway, I've made a mess now on Deborah's desk. <laughs> Spread it all out so she can have fun making kits. How big are those little squares? I got to know. One Are and a half one inch? Half? You cut them one and a half inch. Holy okay. moly. So it'd be a one inch. So it'd be a one inch square. Okay, that's this is a Dawn project. Those of you who know Dawn, she would be all over this. Okay, I just wanna say it would look really cool though, is if you made that part, that topper part, uh, four times and then alternated the leaves. Oh yeah. That would look cool. And then you would have like 
28 inch square across would be 50. Eight. You yeah, have like so a really cool table topper really with cool all the leaves topper. pointing out. It would, but man, they'd be With tight. the stems towards the center. Okay, but I did this once. I would not do it three more times. <laughs> one and done, man. One and done. I've worked with one inch squares. But you know, the, that finished. pattern actually, if people who bought the cheddar and coal fabric. Oh, yeah. You, I know you have lots of that left over. This would be perfect for it scraps, would. for your scraps. Well, okay, you need one and a half inch squares. You yeah. got lots of stuff hanging yeah. around would do this anyway. Lots of stuff. It, I, You know, I'd do this in Tula. I think it'd be fun to see in Tula, all the bright colors. You wouldn't get much of the design, but think how you could really fussy cut that. Wouldn't that be fun? Well, you get a lot of scraps from English paper pieces. Oh, yeah. This would be great to use up scraps like that. I like so, the idea of making it mod, though. Oh, I like love Like a mod. modern. Make it modern. Make it modern. Just because the pattern has an old style to it, I think that's what's really fun to take a... I mean, like a wedding ring quilt and make it out of something really, you know, contemporary. That's really fun. So, anyway, these are here. Come get them, come shop them. It's the Moda Company. It's going to be under um, England Candace Troubles. And Lynn Hagemeyer is the designer on these. So if you're a follower of her stuff. Will you see her again when you I go to the Moda? I'll see her at market. We, market. I leave in a, like a week from today. I, I'll be headed to Quilt Market. So I'm not sure what's new next week. Mm, we may have to do one from market. If you guys saw the ones when Lenine and I went up to H&H, &H, how much fun we had trying to film videos. Well, you got that new fancy phone. You have I to do, do it. I do, you I have to do phone. it. I got a new phone, which makes it me completely ignorant because I can't make it work. So while we're back here, I'm going to do a couple things. What are we going to do? First of all, we're going to have to look at more fabric. So don't, don't think, is that it? It's not. There's more. Wait. But I want to show you something we got in the mail. This is so fun. Okay, first of all, I'll just show you what, what was in it. We have a delightful watcher. Her name is Hildegard, and she lives in Bremen, Germany. B-R-E-M-E-N, Germany. And she has a sister who lives not too far from us. Oh, you and those stamps. I know. And so she mailed us this postcard, and I am so over the moon. I've, we're fascinated by the stamps because we're weird like that, I guess. <laughs> So I was like, look at these stamps. They're so fun. And this is the town, Bremen, where she is from. And she says, warm greetings from the north of Germany. Uh, Bremen was found in, founded in 13th century and still has many old buildings today. Five, 545,000 people live in the Bremen, and the Wasser River is still an important shipping route. Best regards, Hildegard and Gabby. Gabby is her, is her sister. Her sister actually lives in Indiana. So she was watching us in Germany and called her sister and said, have you ever heard of this shop? And she's like, yeah, they're just down the street from me. And so they came and visited us, and it was such a delightful. It's just, it's fun to have international friends. Thank you for that amazing postcard, yes. Hildegard. I love it. Yeah, we'll share this with the staff. So thanks for s dropping us a, a little note. That really was, was means a lot. So when I was reading the postcard, I just imagined, I closed my eyes and imagined for a second life as Hildegard, oh. you know, is she working on, are you working on hand binding in one of these like yeah. really old castle type buildings, like They're in a beautiful. cafe? That would be so neat. Yeah. I have a friend of mine whose son speaks German. So, um, he's been to Germany several times and loves it over there. So that's, that's a bucket list thing right there. That's a bucket list thing to get to go. Wouldn't it be fun to go see Hildegard? <gasps> she came to see us. We could go to see her. Ooh, let's see if we can. Can we finance. expense that? Yeah, can we can we make that an expense for always the stitches as a as a business expense? We're gonna go to <laughs> Germany. I'm I'm thinking I'll try and sell that one. See how that goes. Okay, um, so that I digress a little bit. The other thing I want to talk about. Hold that thought. I'm gonna get something and bring it right over here and show it to you. Just a second. Okay. Here it is. There's Deborah working. <laughs> <laughs> filling your orders. She's filling your orders as we speak. Yeah, somebody's getting an online order filled. So, this past Saturday was the Hamilton County um, 4-H. It's not really their the Hamilton County Homemakers. It's the Purdue Extension Office had a sewing seminar. And at that sewing seminar, they had 170 people come to hear about sewing opportunities and, and just things about how to learn to sew and uh, quilting. They did several different speakers were there. I happened to be one of the speakers. And what I talked about was this kit. We put together this kit that has kind of everything you need to be a basic 
sewing kit. So we've got the ruler. You can't go wrong with this ruler. I love it because it has the QR code that tells me how to use it. This is like, if I don't have sewing supplies, or even if I do, I'm going to buy these because they're replenishable. Um, so binder clips, if you don't, you love, Debra's, I love Wonder Clips. Don't you love Wonder Clips? I, I, for years, I used the clips that they gave us at the... Um, at the office, those black binder clips. Yep. Wonder stole my idea. If I I could have made so much money. So those wonder clips are great. These are awesome. These are little quilt in a day. No, that's not what they're called. They're I know we call them for mouse ear cleaners here because <laughs> they look like you could clean a little mess. Or they could be birthday candle cake. Birthday candles. Don't light them. Don't light them. Probably not They'll a good make idea. A mess. But probably. And how do you know that, Peter? <laughs> that's what concerns me a little bit. That was that fire alarm we had to deal with. Okay. Um, but anyway, this is from Quilt in a Day. They're called cleaning sewing machine cleaning brushes. These are awesome little brushes. They're teeny, teeny, tiny. And um, we'll have a video that you can see. It's amazing the places you can get into with these because, you know, you never blow air into your machine. That's a no, big, big no-no. But you can get in here with these brushes and clean it out. So that's what those are for. Then this is a, call, a product called Flatter. It's a starch product. It's not a real heavy starch. It's a very light starch. Um, and to starch or not to starch, that's the question because you get that discussion going with quilters and they can get quite a debate. But I do like this because it's a, a light starch, not a heavy starch. And I will starch each little piece as I'm cutting it. And then at the end, I get a real heavy starch and really really turn it into cardboard but uh, flatter is a great product and it comes in smells this one happens to be pineapple which is i know stephanie's favorite um, there's all different flavors and there's also unscented if you don't like flavors but what's really nice is the atomizer on this makes it a really fine mist where um, some other products out there they tend to glob and this one won't glob at all <clears throat> and then if you've watched any of my videos you know i'm thoroughly in love with this stylus pen it also has a pressing um on the bottom part a wooden of it, iron. a presser. Wooden iron, yep, wooden iron. That's a good way to put it. Lovely, lovely little piece. I used this. I used a chopstick for 40 years, and then I found out that they actually make a product instead of my chopstick. It's like my binder clips, my, my chopstick, all these tools that I've, I've improvised. People were smart and made things that actually are designed to work for that. Um, this seam ripper, okay, so you have a seam ripper. Is it the same seam ripper you had when you were in, like, junior high home ec class because if it is you need a new one <laughs> and it's good they get dull and we're going to actually do a video too to show you how to use this because um, it's amazing we have to teach people how to use seam rippers but there's a seam ripper diagonal seam tape if you aren't using this oh my goodness zipper tape zipper tape well no this isn't the zipper tape this is a diagonal seam tape oh close close but no cigar we this, don't have a name for that we, we well Seam Other tape. than what it's called. Yeah, we call it by the real name, which is a little, like, we call it clappers, can clappers. We call it, can we call this flamingo washi tape? We'll call, call well, it's got a chicken on it, so we oh. should call it chicken washi tape. Chick, 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 chick tape. tape. Chick tape. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We'll call it chick tape. It comes in a Ziploc <laughs> container. I would suggest keeping it in the container because it will lose its stickiness if you keep it too long. Um, I use mine up faster than that happens, but I've heard that it is potential to use it, lose its stickiness. But I love this stuff. It goes on your sewing machine you've probably seen us use it um, and it get make sure you get an accurate quarter inch so it helps with your accuracy and then last but not least is a Frixon pen and I don't know if I say that right or not but anyway um, this is not created for the sewing industry but we've adopted them they're really a great pen because you can mark things and then it disappears when you iron it um, the problem is it will sometimes cause ghosting or shadows because where you've ironed it away it sometimes will take out the fabric color it also will reappear if it gets in a temperature below 32 degrees so use it with caution use it in areas where you know are not going to show after you've put your quilt together or you know if you're making a bag write it on the back of the uh, interfacing or whatever but it's great to write with i love my i really pens. liked what you were doing with it when we were making that wallet yeah, where I wrote on the back of the interfacing. Yeah, that so was... you could keep track of what your pieces were. Yeah. You like label the back of your pieces instead of having to, you know, use a pen or no, those like those stick pens yeah. that have the numbers and letters on them. Well, or, or post it notes. I used to put post it notes on everything, and this was great because all I can do is just write on the interfacing yeah, yeah. and I'm done. I know what every single piece is. So that's all eight items. If you bought these at regular price, it'd be around $96 for everything in the bag. Um, 
but because we love you so much, you can buy everything in this bag. Um, we seven. love we love that they sew so much. We do love that they sew so much. Um, you can buy everything in the bag for seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents on our website. Is it something that um, can help you with? Or do you need these are in the store. You can pick them up in store, or you can get them on the website, um, and we'll ship them to you. So, perfect Christmas gift. You have a sewist maybe who is ready to kind of start getting into a little bit more sewing. This is great. You have somebody who's been sewing for years. It's still great because these are replenishable things. Well, I'd like to add, I mean, I have been sewing for a long time, even before I started working here, and I would just cheat myself instead of treat myself because yeah. I would just work with what I had, hand-me-downs, whatever was, sure. whatever, I, whatever I had that was around and I didn't think, oh, I can make do with what I have. But then when I started working here, I saw that everybody that is serious about their sewing that sews a lot, these are all the things that they use. So gradually I started picking up one by one by one. <laughs> yeah. And the whole time I thought, you know what? Why didn't I do this sooner? Why didn't I do it when I first started sewing? I could have made, you know, I can definitely see a difference in the products when you are using these type of products with what you're doing. Oh, absolutely. For and I think, sure. Yeah, oh, without a doubt. And I think what it does is it increases your accuracy. It, it helps you not hate your machine because your machine is clean and your machine doesn't hate you because she's clean. You know, she deserves a spa day just as much as you do. And those little, you know, mouse ear cleaners are so tiny, but what a make, they make a huge difference if you open your bobbin case and you see that grime in there and clean it out, it makes a huge difference. I just, you're right. I used my office black binder clips for years and I used my, you know, chopstick for years and then I got the stylus and I and I you know got actual wonder clips I was like okay these are made to work that way the wonder clips even have little measures on the back of them a lot of people don't realize that on the back of those wonder clips it marks a quarter inch a half inch and three and and five eighths is marked on the back of those those uh, clips so when you clip something you can identify how far in you want to sew I mean it's just great tools. We're going to do a whole video on using these tools, so be watching for that. It'll be a separate video outside of what's new. But if you want to get these kits, uh, we're going to try and keep them available through the holiday season. I think I would be thrilled. Even the fact I have all these items, I would be happy to have them in duplicate just because I need them to go to tra traveling, whatever. Wonder Clips, you never have enough. You always need a new fresh seam ripper. Um, great, great bag. $79.99 for all of all eight items well worth it. You're basically talking 10 bucks per item. That's a pretty good deal. So that's what's available to you. Now, we're gonna go out and finish looking at fabric. Deborah has run. She has gone to hide. She gone. <laughs> she gone. She didn't even want to get caught in the video again. So we're gonna go out and look at some more fabric, a little bit of yarn, and we're gonna give something away. Ha ha ha. So watch for that. I gotta put this back. See you in a minute. Hey, okay guys, we're back in the yarn department and we're getting some good yarn in, Peter. I'm excited that um, we had a box opening last time that you guys filmed, which was perfect to show you some of the fun uh, Barocco yarns. And we got some more Barocco. We have become kind and of a... I heard that you, did you start your Christmas sock at all? I did. Oh, I should have brought it. I, I, I read it. in the comments, but I couldn't decipher what I was reading. I know. I have. So I'm, what are you doing? I'm knitting a sock. It's not a Christmas sock. I just happen to be knitting a sock. But you're participating. But I'm going to claim to participate in the other group, and I, I neglected to bring it. I'll have to bring it in my next video and show you, because I'll have quite a little bit done, because we're going to be going to Quilt Market, and I'll be knitting on it for that. But um, yeah, I'm in the sock game. So yeah, if you're not in the sock party, get into it. Um, Post your picture on our Always in Stitches Insiders page. Show us how far along you are on knitting your sock. And you can join Peter's, what are you calling it, Christmas? It's the Christmas Sock Knit Along. Christmas Sock Knit Along. And it runs through Christmas. Yeah, and you could have new socks for Christmas. And I always knit a new pair of socks for my daughter for Christmas every year. But I kind of think I might keep these. <laughs> I may have to double up and knit a little bit more to get them done. Yeah, a lot of people have bought their sock yarn here. And um, they are knitting away on their socks. I have my one sock just have to Kitchener stitch the toe and then I'm ready to cast on for my second stock. So I I'm pretty love, excited. I love the Kitchener stitch at the end. I think I would just like to do Kitchener stitch. Just It's just fun. It's yes. fun to see it come together. It's so cool. Um, Julie posted a picture of her sock progress um, probably a week or two ago in the Insiders. Pa Patrick picked up his sock yarn Saturday. Okay. Um, Maggie, of course, you know, she's she, done. she's working on her third pair of socks. She yeah. got new sock yarn for, I think a third pair. Um, 
and then I'm still on my first pair. Yeah. I'm uh, taking my time. I'm going to enjoy it. It is, because you're working with that um, new... Barocco. No, not the Barocco. The West Yorkshire West Spinners. West Yorkshire. Yeah, you're working with that I am addicted to that stuff. You I are. love it. Oh, and everybody wants to know, you know what? I don't think you ordered Flamingo. I did order Flamingo. No, because we've never gotten it. We've gotten two orders in since you Ooh. are claiming you ordered your flamingo and people want like maggie wants the flamingo, the flamingo. yarn now. i want the flamingo yarn too so we're gonna have to reorder right. it we're gonna have to reorder we'll get it we'll get it done okay yep so let's um okay so let's talk about what we got in that's not sock yarn but it's cool yarn this is a worsted weight yarn um it's vintage from barocco and of course, I pick up the purple because it's Peter's favorite. But we just we restocked in this. This is a great um, mid mid price yarn. The colors are lovely. These make beautiful sweaters. We've got a class coming up, uh, Janet's top down sweater class. There might still be an opening left in there. And we've got people who really want to knit with this yarn and use it for those projects because at the price point it is, you can buy the six or eight you know as many as 10 skeins depending on what size sweater you're making and have more than enough yarn to do it um so vintage has kind of become our sweetheart in here right now for a, a worsted weight yarn that is great for a machine washable blend which makes it fun for sweaters it's acrylic wool and nylon which is a great great combination because it gives you the strength and the durability of the wool it gives you the washability of the acrylic and that little bit of nylon kind of helps it um, stick together like you want it to. So um, with this, the knitting gauge, it's a it's a four is what they're registering at as a four. Um, and you're looking at four and a half stitches per inch to five inches, five stitches per inch. So it's a pretty good size, uh, pretty good size to work with. It's just a great worsted weight. So lots of colors to choose from in that. I'm, I'm loving this yarn. I think it's really pretty. Um, the other thing we received in is from the Wonderland Company, who I love because they have a flamingo on their logo. They right just here. make me happy. So Wonderland, here we go. We got some new Wonderland yarn in. It's a fingering weight. These are really, really pretty too. Look, oh my gosh, look at this one. Mary Ann, Pigments of Imagination Tea Time, Berry Cupcake. Isn't that just, oh, I might have to make another pair of socks. Those would make socks. Yeah, you would like those. those I would like those. Sure. And they're soft. Oh, the touch of vision. When are you going to get that touch of vision there, Peter? Come I'm on. working on it. You're working on it. Yeah, when we, when we, so this is superwash merino and nylon. So, yeah, this would make beautiful socks. And everybody mm. was crushing on that green. Yeah, the green's pretty. Green's a, green's a color that's kind of become popular again. Pigments of imagination. The color, the, this is called Marianne is the yarn. This is creeping moss. That is really pretty. Those little dots in there would make a really pretty sock. Um, what was the name of this color? I didn't get the name of the color. Tea time. Yeah, tea time. I did too. Tea time. So we got some new Wonderland yarns in. You want to look around at those a little bit. Um, and then we got some new alpaca in over here, Peter. Tell I'm just going to show them the rest of this. Oh, you should um, I'm jumping ahead. Sorry. Well, I thought maybe somebody may have not seen the other colors that we carry in Wonderland. Yeah, we've been really pleased with the response that you guys have had to the Wonderland yarn. It's it's a little deeper price point than some of the other yarns. I mean, I showed you the Vintage, which has a kind of a lesser price point. But it's an investment in your project. If I'm going to spend as many hours as I spend knitting something, I want to use the best quality yarn I can afford. And, you know, sometimes that means I'm going to have to go a little steeper into my pocket to get the yarn that will have the better quality to it. It's going to have a better wound. It's going to be wound better. It's going to be spun a little nicer. They're going to use different animals, create different qualities of um, yarn because of the way the sheep fur is. <laughs> fur? Is it fur? It's not fur. But you get the point. We get the point. You get the point. We okay. get the point. Alpaca. Alpaca. Oh. Okay, this really needs touch of vision. <gasps> this is an alpaca light. It's from Barocco again. We're we're really deep in Barocco right now. And I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, the alpaca, it's making me sneeze, I think. 
Uh, this is just oh, luscious, luscious, lovely. This one is called, what's the name of this color? It doesn't say the name of the color. I want to know the color name. Because it's really pretty. This blue, mm, it just gives me a number. Isn't that sad? I want a name. Make up one. Make up name. This is, I'm going to call this denim blue because that, I just see denim in that, like a deep denim. Um, this one is 50% alpaca and 50% Peruvian wool. You've got 146 yards on a skein, so this is a little steeper. Um, again, beautiful scarves. This would make the yummiest scarf, especially this gray. I love grays for scarves. This kind of taupey color would be pretty in a scarf. Um, these we've had. We've shown these before, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't scan by them again. And then this is more. the new Oh, is this vintage the, DK. Vintage DK. Okay, yeah. so this vintage, when it says vintage, it's usually a, a really good price point. Boy, that's a pretty white. Sometimes snow it's hard white. to find a snow white, and that is truly a snow white. So holidays are coming. You're looking for white, red, and green. You might want to think about, you know, playing in these. Um, again, we're back into things that would maybe make baby things. I'd be a little, if I made a baby thing out of this, I'd probably be, oh, that's machine washable. So there you go. Machine washing will be great for baby things because those new moms don't have time to do hand washing, but that babies are going to need to have stuff washed very quickly. So there you go. That's some of the stuff in the yarn department. We're always getting new things in the yarn department. Our staff is always ready to answer your questions and help. Don't, don't wait one minute if you've got anything you want to know, whether you're doing crochet, which is widely popular now. It's just exploding. We've got some great books. We also have a walk-in crochet class on Tuesdays and Thursday afternoons from 2 to 4. You, you don't have to register online for that. You just show up. It happens back in the back in the yarn department, and uh, they're happy to have you come in. The instructor for that class can teach you anything you want to know about crochet. She's spectacular. Um, so don't hesitate to check that out. And if you've got questions, call Peter. <laughs> He's quite the knitter. He's been knitting for a long, long time. As well as we've got Pam back here and and Deborah, there's there's several knitters on our staff. Jessica. Jessica. Oh yeah, Jessica. Jessica's amazing. She is so talented. Yeah, she does yarn dyeing and fabric dyeing and weaving, and so she's definitely a. a I know player. enough just to get through a project. He's he's not. That's himself. about as much as I can get through. That's not true. I think he gave himself a little more credit, but. But anyway, the point is, we've got qualified people here who are ready to help. If the more talented people aren't available and I'm your only <laughs> option, we'll make it work. <laughs> and, you know, that's the other thing. You don't have to know all the answers. You just have to know where to get the answers. And we can do that. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even know, need to know that. Sometimes you just help them find the answer. Exactly, exactly. Our customers come in and teach us a lot. Because our customers are pretty smart. They, they figure are. stuff out. They are. And they, they really, a lot of times, will come in and suggest things. And so don't hesitate. If you see something you want us to get or you're familiar with a project or a product and you want us to be aware of it, let us know. We'll happily get it in for you. So. Yeah, email Cappy. Yeah, email Cappy, C-A-P-I, like a baseball cap with an I, at alwaysinstitches1.com, and I will get get on it. That's my job. So we're going to go up and look at some fabric. I've been promising fabric all along. I'm kind of just like, we're going to look at fabric. Are you sure we even have fabric? We do. I know we do. Because the one line we got in, I was off last week. Oh, okay. And it was one I was really excited to see. We were having our staff meeting this morning, and I was shopping for my, my, my flat quarter bundle. So we're going to go up and look at that fabric, and we'll see you up there in just a second. Okay, we did finally make it to fabric. I will tell you, there's been some interesting conversations all the way up here uh, about various things that, you know, are you interesting doing? to us. Us and interesting to our customers too. So and our and our employees. And our employees, especially. <laughs> yeah, we learned we learned some things about each other just a minute ago, but it's all good. Um, I want to talk about this William Morris fabric. We uh, previously showed you in the month of uh, September. We got 15 bolts in, and we made these lovely little I'll flat quarter bundles. I'll review the 15 bolts. Review the 15. So we got these first 15 in. I told you then that this was a line that has 45 bolts. We typically don't buy all 45 bolts of a line because it's just too much to get in at one time. So what we did with this one was we're getting it in 15 increments. We got 15 in September, that was this bundle, and we got 15 in October, that's this bundle, and we will get another bundle in November. So here you go, 
There's what came this go round. I I'm buying him a bundle at a time, me personally, um, to make a quilt because I think they'll be stunning. They're fat quarter bundles. And then I'm going to show them the new 15. And the new 15, I'll get out of the way. So um, the new 15 then come around this way, and. I, all I can tell you is these would be perfect just to have in your stash. There's not a single quilt that wouldn't be lovely or a project made with one of these as a feature fabric. Um, English paper piecing is going to be lovely. You could certainly make garments out of these and be right on on point with the current fabric trend. Florals in shirts, I guess, are huge for fall. So these would be lovely. The hand on them, oh, they just... They've done the best job. See, look at my Band-Aid. I have a, let's see my little Band-Aid. <laughs> I have a cut on my thumb. I had to stop and fix it. Did you get a hatchet wound? I caught a little hatchet wound from this weekend, and I got a little a little cowboy Band-Aid. Yeah, how was your weekend? So it I heard good. you did a lot of baking. I did a lot of baking. What'd you my, bake? My son, I made a sugar cream pie that I gave to a friend for her birthday, and they, she and her cousins ate them all, at the whole pie in one night. I know, I was supposed to bring a piece for Peter, but it's gone. I made a pumpkin pie, I made a, a blueberry pie, and I made macaroni and cheese. And then my son, who's here from Tokyo, made a beef curry kind of deal thing and that I didn't like, but that's just me. And then he also made a root vegetable soup, kind of miso soup thing. So we had a big party at the house, and everybody was there, and we ate lots and lots. But I have a war wound from one of the knives. <laughs> Cut myself, so I'm trying not to bleed on anything. Was that a knife that he brought home from Japan? No, it was one I already had in the drawer. Oh, so. okay. Was it a Japanese knife? No, it wasn't. It's, oh. It wasn't a Japanese knife. I remember my dad, he got a Japanese knife, and it was so sharp. He kept cutting himself, so he just put it away and didn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you learn to use a sharp oh, knife, it's man. usually fine. But this one, I was kind of flipping it around. and I was trying Wait, to do you the, were flipping it around? Yeah, I was doing the hibachi thing. No, no. You were? You were doing the hibachi? Thing. No, 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 no. Come on, man. No, no, not that. You have cool. to respect the blade. I know you have to respect the blade. But anyway, this fabric is beautiful. There's a wide back. Let me grab the wide back real quick. Um, I think there's another one too, but this is the more. Oh yeah, the wide back. This is the wide. Oh, gosh. Isn't that's that a pretty? big boy. It is a big one. But boy, is it pretty. Wow, that's pretty. Well, that just, Why is that so pretty? It's because it's that William Morris. I'm just saying. Man. It is well worth the investment. Um, this is from the Free Spirit Company. So Free Spirit's fabrics, if you've dealt with them at all, they're just, they have the best hand. I, we're back to this touch of vision problem that we can't feel it. But it's a nice weave. The, the fabric has a good density to it. And I'm thinking I would love some blouses made out of this because I've got nothing else to do but just make clothes, you know. Do it. <laughs> pajama I pants. If I could, I would, man. If I could, I would. And make good pajama pants. Um, okay, I have a fat quarter bundle to give away, and I don't know where I put it. Oh, we lost it. We lost it somewhere. It's sitting around the store somewhere, but we'll find it. But I can tell you what fabric it is from. So it's from this fabric over here. We showed this to you last week. It's this knitting is my superpower fabric. I have a fat quarter bundle we're going to give away. We were back in the yarn department talking about yarn quite a bit. How hard are we going to make it for them? <clears throat> well, you let's know, make it real hard. Let's make it really hard. Mm, what could we ask him about knitting? It would be a hard question. <laughs> You're the knitting person. You come up with a knitting question. Uh, post a picture of your most recent item that you finished knitting in our Insiders Facebook group okay yeah like that's that. all you gotta do okay so that's how you win now you'll need to comment like in, in under this YouTube video you might want to say hey I posted a picture on the insiders page and if you're not on the insiders page go to um, Facebook type in always in stitches insiders page and it'll come up and then you say I want to join it and then we'll you'll come up on my page and I'll say yes we'll let this person join. It's just a private group so that you're not getting bombarded with stuff you don't want to see. That way if you don't want to join the page you don't have to. But to win the fat quarter bundle from this collection you're going to have to go to our insiders page, make sure you're joined and then post your most recent finished, this is not in process, finished, finished knitting. knitting. Most recent. Now most recent finished knitting project could go back a few years. 
I mean, maybe you haven't knit for the last two or three years, or 10 years, or 15 years, I don't know. But your last finished knitting project, and we want to see it. And you know, then once you show it, here's what's going to happen. They're going to want to know what pattern it is, they're going to want to know what yarn it is, so try and put that information in there too, because they'll ask us and we'll go, we don't know, it was their project, not ours. So get that information in there, but post that, and we'll pick a winner, and we're going to give away a fat quarter bundle of fabric that if you are a knitter and not a stitcher, for quilting, then maybe you can give it to somebody to have them make you a quilt. Or maybe you'll use it to make bags. I don't know. You'll find something to do with it. But that's what we're going to give away. All right? So that's it for this week. Peter, it's been great having you visit with us. Have nice. Everybody. Nice. Good everybody. visiting with you, Cappy. Yep. Good visiting with everybody on this floor staff. As we do these videos, people stop up and talk to us, and we learn interesting things. What you drinking, Betty? I've got water. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you? I really That's really some do. really strong water it's you water. got in there, Betty. I have water. Are you sure it's water? <laughs> I'm Where, sure. Where'd you just come back from, Betty? I just came back from Tennessee. From yeah. A beautiful vacation. Uh-huh. A beautiful vacation. And there's Pam, who had some issues with her garage door this morning, but we fixed it. It's good. It's on its way. And then Bonnie. Good. Bonnie's just always so sweet. Bonnie, just sweet. Bonnie wants to come over to Betty's, though. I said, we're going to have an Always in Stitches after party. Okay. After after work party? An after work party. We might have to do that. That might be well, fun. I said, someone's going to have to drive her home. Somebody's going to drive her home. We'll rent up one of those, you know, a party van. A big party van. The Always in Stitches. Can you imagine what that would the be? The Always in oh Stitches. Oh, my gosh. Oh, really? When they drop off the handy quilters? Yeah, yeah. We'll have their van. We'll have their oh. van. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully nobody from Handy Quilter is watching this. And, and we do have the Handy Quilter event going on this week. So if you stop in the store, this will air Thursday. We've got Friday, Saturday, it's going on. If you see a lot of chaos in the store, it's the Handy Quilter event going he on. Edits it. You go to <laughs> he edits it. He may not edit that out, just so you know. I'm not editing that. He's not editing nothing, man. We're putting it all in. And here's Paige. She's following Peter so she doesn't get the video. Okay. Hey, guys, thanks for stopping in. If you come see us, I hope you have fun in the store. If not, start some fun because we need to laugh. Happy stitching. Bye, y'all. Bye.